Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, today's workout is going to be cardio workout. We are training in zone two, so we're gonna do some low impact cardio. We're gonna stay in that zone two, trying to breathe through our nose, trying to still have that conversation. Then we're gonna pop it right up into a high intensity interval and work on our VO2 max. All right, this enhances our lung capacity to pump oxygen through our body and then also how quickly we can replenish that oxygen. This is a great indicator for longevity and ultimately for heart health as well. If you haven't listened to Dr. Peter Atiyah, I've been listening to him a lot. These are things that he does. You can check out his podcast called The Drive over on Spotify or Apple Play or wherever you get your podcasts. Okay, so we'll start with zone two cardio. Your format there will be 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between, all low impact. I might grab some light weights to kick it up a little bit. And then we'll move to the high intensity intervals or the VO2 max training. All right, that's going to be 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of recovery. So I'll be walking around to bring the heart rate down and then we'll kick it up again. Now I'm gonna do high intensity exercises, but if you don't wanna do that and you have a, a bike, or a treadmill or an elliptical that you wanna hop on and hit your intervals, feel free to do that. All right, and then we'll come back down into that zone two for a nice little recovery and then we'll stretch things out. So, are you ready to move daily? We will start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. This is gonna be intense. Hair probably will go up. <laughs> I brought an elastic down here with me. Let's do this and move daily. Okay, I will put high intensity intervals on the watch. Let's start with some hip openers here. Probably should have wore shorts, but it's actually cool and rainy here today. So it was a little bit chilly this morning, this summer day. I'm sure I'll heat up in a moment and then be regretting my pant choice. <laughs> oh well. If you're hot, you can just take yours off in your home gym there. <laughs> I can't do that. Right here. One more here. Take it wide, toes are out. Open here. Wide and tap your toes. Good, a little side to side lunge here. into a static lunge, little pelvic tilt, and drop for 10. One more here, and turn, and drop for 10. here. Switch. And switch. One more here. And up to calf raises for 15. We'll get started. Not too long of a warm up because we are starting in that zone two. We'll just ease our way in, okay? <laughs> It'll be fine. Five more raises right here. All right, here we go. 
All right, starting with a walking butt kick for four front, four back. Here we go. Walk and punch for four, three, two, one, and back for four, three, two, and one. Good. right here stay low one punch we're here good now if that hurts knees you're just here right get those quads warmed up with this isometric hold yeah there they are on fire already <laughs> doesn't take long 15 seconds Drop a little lower, 10 seconds, let's go. All right, check it out, elbow to knee, hand to toe. All right, alternating sides. Here we go, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Side to side, here, here, and back. Sprinter hop. It's a low tap, high knee or front kick. I'll call half. Reach it low and knee, low and knee. Last one on this side. Switch legs. The leg goes back and knee. And knee. Four seals, two T Rex, too low like that. Here we go. So four, three, two, one. Low, low.
Jump it out. Double knee. Double high knee. Good. All Canadian sides. Shoulders back. Your one, two, and switch. One, two. Bring the hands up. Single, single, double butt kick. All right, single, single, double. Here we go. So single, single, double here. Now single, single, double here. That's it, go, go, and double. Are you still able to breathe through your nose? With mouth closed. I'm doing pretty good. I can still have a full conversation here. That means I'm in the right zone for me. You test yourself. Good, now triple high knee. Two, three and switch. Shoulders back. Let's work for one, two, three, switch, one, two, three. squat. So two jacks into the side squat, alternating. Jack here, go one, two, turn and squat. One, two, other side squat. Skip. You could low impact here. I'm gonna kick it up because I think it'll still keep me in zone two. You do whatever. Here. You're moving into that ice skater. Okay, side to side. Right there. Ready, stay low. You're here. Let's go. The lower you are, the more it's gonna kick the heart rate up. Activating more leg muscles.
All right, we're gonna do a front kick, turn and side kick. I'll call halfway and then we'll switch legs. Front kick here, front, turn, side. Front, side. I'm pivoting up on that foot. Lifting my heel up to turn my foot. Last one here. Switch legs. Front. Very good, into that side squat pivot to lunge. Stay here if you don't want to turn. Drop it low, you're here, and turn, center here, and turn. All right, we're gonna just do a straight front kick here. Hands up, here we go. Up, up, let's go. You can only kick low, that's fine. You can be here instead. Squat reach, we're dropping it low, up high to your tiptoes. Wider stance, drop it low and reach, low and reach, that's it. Twist punch, a good heel lift punch if you don't want to drop and twist, okay? Stay low, and here, and here. Two jacks, two frogs, low and low. Here we go, go one, two, drop low, low.
All right, just into those T-Rex, alternating sides. That's just gonna kick the heart rate up a little bit. Here we go. We'll do a little bit lighter one next round. Stay tall in your upper back. kicks, two back kicks, hands are out, shoulders low, let's work a one, two, back, one, two. See, heart rate went up a bit, I'm doing this one just to bring it down a bit for myself. Still able to have that conversation though. Not a problem for me at all. Can you talk to me? Say something. <laughs> oh really? I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> it's a good metric. Gauge yourself. All right, I'm just gonna hold the dumbbells here. Put my cardio kick front punch. Opposite hand and a foot right there. Here we go. Two knees, one press, two and one. I'm just holding twos, no weight is fine as well. Double knee, single press. Double knee, single press, good. Setting the weights down into that cross and front jack. Reach up and down, up and down right here. Let's go, reach and tap. Squat with that front kick. Drop it low. Squat and kick, switch. Squat and kick.
All right, jack front punch, overhead punch. Tap right there. Jack if you wish. Here we go. Front and reach. Drop it low. Step broad jump with a crab walk back. Make sure you pick up the heels and pivot. Low step, you're here. Low, two, three, again. Climb the ladder. Boom, 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 boom. Grabbing the weights again for my duck under cross body punch. Wide stance, duck and punch here and here. Punch up to the diagonal, just across the body, but keep your eyes facing the front so you don't get dizzy. that box fast feet. You can go as quick or as slow as you want in the shape of a box. Reverse directions. Last exercise in our zone two. We're doing in and out squats. All right, stay low. Start narrow, narrow and wide. Narrow back to wide. All right, can you breathe through your nose still? Everyone's gonna be different, you know? I don't expect you to be at the same level as me or me as you. Some of us will be the same. I can still have this conversation. That's no problem. But coming up next, I'm gonna give us a, about a 30 second reprieve here. And then we're gonna hop into that VO2 max. 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of recovery. If you don't need the recovery, you aren't probably working as hard as you need to be. Walk it out. 
Alrighty, whew. Good times. Do some of those double inhale, slow exhale. Got about 10 more seconds here. Of course, you can pause the video and take longer for recovery if you wish. All right. All right, I'm starting off with squat jumps, 30 seconds. I'm gonna squat as low as I can. I'm gonna jump as high as I can. I really wanna hit this hard. Do within your own abilities. If you only need to squat, that's fine. Here we go. Stand still. Okay, that felt slightly pukey. <laughs> We're going into that broad jump with the jacks back. Grabbing my push-up handles for the burpee. Big jump at the top. The jumps can be bigger. That's gonna kick the heart rate up more. All right, get ready. Here we go. Jump huge. I use to support my wrists. Of course, you can use the side of a bench. Back to the squat jumps. Here we go. Monitor your own ability. If you need to just cut it there. Listen to your own body. I'm feeling good. Going back into my broad jump.
you ready for burpees? High as you can jump here. Conversation. I have to breathe through my mouth. Squat jumps here. Jump coming up, land light, reach your hips back. One more circuit of three times three, okay? Then we'll bring it down. You got it. It's feeling good for me. Here we go. Walk it out. Ha! Ah, you have a full minute. Okay. Let's do that physiological sigh. Double inhale through the nose, slow exhale. Jack, tuck jump. Here we go. One, two, tuck.
cough it out. Hiya. <clears throat> All right. My knee's really high though. Coming up. <clears throat> Shoulders back. Bring them up. Here we go. Walk to jack star jump. You could do all star jumps. I feel like I'm gonna be really increasing my VO2 with just the two jack star jumps, so you do what you want. Two jack star jump. There we go. Top. Very happy for the 30 second rest. Two jack tuck. Here we go. My knees coming up.
walk. My nerve endings are getting itchy. Do you have that ever? Studies have shown this is a better way to increase lung, uh, oxygen back into your lungs as opposed to this, which track coach, coaches used to teach. All right, back to the top. Jack and tuck. Are you feeling the compound impressed over time? I know me too. Two more. Literally 60 seconds of hard work left. High knees. And then just five low impact exercises to bring it down. One more exercise. Jack squat jack is your last. What do you have left in the tank? Let's work. seconds reprieve then we're gonna go right into five low impact just 30 seconds each no rest in between but I'm gonna make them easy we want to slowly bring that heart rate down we don't want to just lie down right now ah, it was amazing feel awesome high low punch ready here we go or here Timer is one second behind. Hi, me. I'll go to me right here and here. Grapevine coming up. Step behind, elbow to knee. Ready, here we go. Here. And knee. Tricep push out right here, right here, 
and here. Almost there, folks. Feeling the heart rate come down. You should. That recovery time is a great indicator of your own cardiovascular health as well. As well. Something to work on for sure. All right, last high knee here. Let's work. Up and one, and two. Nice and gentle, shoulders back. That's kicking it up too much, you're here instead. Last 15 seconds. I'm gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna do a little down regulated breathing to recover our cortisol levels. Bring that heart rate down. Three, two, one and done. Wowza. You move daily in your zone two and VO2 max. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> that was great. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I will talk also after the uh, down regulated breathing about why training like this is so important for longevity. Let's make our way down to the ground once that heart rate's down enough to lie down on your back. All right, down regulated breathing. You can lie right down on your back, hands at your side. We're gonna inhale for the count of four. We'll hold for the count of four. Exhale for the count of four. Hold for the count of four. I'm gonna count for four rounds and then you can do it on your own. Here we go. Big breath in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. All right, do it on your own for a few. One more round, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Very good. Let's grab our knees, just little circles on the back right here. Just stretching that lower back in those glutes, reverse your circle. And you're just gonna hit, uh, take hold of one knee and let the other leg go straight down to the ground. Ah, uh, yeah, stretch that hip flexor out a little bit into that sciatic and lower back here as well. All right, very good, tremendous work with the VO2 max. I really thoroughly enjoyed that switch sides. I like the warm up with the low impact and then I liked kicking it up. I don't know, I had a really good workout today and I don't know why or how, <laughs> but the stars were aligned. Now, if you've listened to anything by Dr. Peter Atia, you'll know the importance that he puts on, let's go into a glute stretch here, VO2 max training or peak cardio training. So he talks a lot about doing your zone two intervals and training where you can speak, you can hold a conversation, and technically you could breathe through your nose during that. So that was true for me for that whole zone two. Um, your VO2 max then pops right up into that zone four and five, right? So you're nice and warm, so that's a big important part of it, and then you go into it, and typically it's that one-to-one -one ratio where you're pushing 
at a high intensity interval for say something like 30 seconds and then you recover for something like 30 seconds. Uh, so that's, that's a true hit session as well. Now, technically, if you're really doing a true hit, you shouldn't be able to do it any longer for a period of about 20 minutes. You should be gassed and tapped at that point. Um, I probably could have pushed a little bit harder, but I was just sort of testing the waters with uh, the workout. Let's go into hamstring stretch here. Flex your foot. But one of the things he does talk about in his books and podcasts is there is an importance in training your VO2 max because it is one of the greatest indicators of all of the things that you needed to do in order to achieve a good number in your VO2 max. Now, you can test it. Most cities have machines where you have the mask on your, on your face and then you go through a series of um, sprint intervals and there's nurses or doctors or whoever is testing you and then it punches out a number. And the higher that number, um, the, it really it does coincide with longevity. And it makes a lot of sense because uh, I'm gonna cross at the knees and draw in here. Think about all that you have to do in order to have a good VO2 max, a good number, a good ability of your heart to pump oxygen into your body, circulate it, and then recover. Like you have to have trained for a long period of time. You can't just wake up one day and have a really good VO2 max. You're not born with a good VO2 max. You have to train for it. So that is, that is his point, is that all of the activities leading up to being proficient in pumping oxygen through your body are the things that are going to lead to longevity, are the things that are going to help stave off things like dementia and Alzheimer's and uh, atherosclerosis and cancers and, you know, diabetes. So that makes sense to me. Let's come to our side, little quad stretch here. Right, we're doing the things on a regular basis. And like I said, you can't just start training for it and then after a week, oh, you got a good VO2 max. No, it's something that builds up slowly over time and you can improve upon over time, but that's the point of it, it takes a long time. Uh, another thing that he's also said too is, grip strength is a great indicator of longevity and you think, well, fine, I'll just use one of those little grip squeezers and, and I'll be good. But that's not the point of it, the point is, you have been lifting heavy things for a long period of time. And by virtue of training regularly, lifting heavy weights, think about all of the benefits that it has to all of your body, not just to your grip strength. But grip strength is an indicator that you've been picking up those heavy things for a long period of time. And so that's, that's how that works. And uh, anyway, I'm definitely going to continue to incorporate little hit sessions like this into my week. I probably would only do this once, maybe twice a week. You definitely need some good heart recovery afterward and probably even our jumper muscles if you did something like this versus if you did a cycle or a elliptical or a swim intervals. Um, you know, this is definitely a little bit more challenging on the joints. So if you do find it too challenging and you still really want to train your VO2 max and then maybe consider getting something like an assault bike. Those are fantastic. It's, it's a stationary bike that has handles and wheels and you're like rocking it back and forth. It's got a big fan in the front, like a big um, spinning fan. And I mean, I can get my heart rate up in a nanosecond on one of those things. They are tough, but you wouldn't have to do it very frequently and you'd be training your VO2 max very regularly. Again, you can do that on a treadmill, you can do that with stairs, you can do that with a skipping rope, hikes, workouts like this as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of that or if you want to do something like that again. Uh, I'll definitely be doing it again for sure. I like it. All right. Have a great day. See you in the next workout.